we're going through meiosis, something very interesting happens during prophase. And it's actually two really interesting things that happen during prophase. I mean, all the normal things happen during prophase, like the nucleus goes away and the centrioles like start to move to the opposite sides of the cell. Um, those things that you learn during mitosis, all those same things happen. Spindle fibers start to form, for example. You can draw our spindle fibers here and here. But, um, but one of the things that is different about meiosis is that tetrads form. And tetrads form between homologous chromosomes. Now, in real cells, uh, what happens is the homologous chromosomes are pulled together, and then they're pulled together um, where the areas that are the same gene on a chromosome do this thing called crossing over. Um, it's going to be much easier for you to do this simulation if you just allow those chromosomes to form the tetrad this way because um, it's going to be easier for you to move them around. But just know that in reality, this is still two separate chromosomes. They've just done this thing called crossing over. And you can do that with the second set of chromosomes like this. So these are in the tetrad form. Tetra means four, and you can see that there's one, two, three, four sister chromatids. Um, the directions are going to tell you about how to um, do the actual crossing over too. And to do that, I'm just going to do a quick demo on how to do that. Um, we do it uh, with the chromosomes that are closest to each other. So this is the direction say to take off one pop bead from one arm of one sister and um, exchange them. Oops. So <laughs> this is what the exchange looks like. And so that would be our tetrad that has gone through crossing over. So again, the two interesting things that happen during meiosis prophase one is tetrads form and crossing over happens. And you can see that I've done it here for you. When you do it on the chromosome number two, we're going to do it with the long arm and we're just gonna do these three like that and those will be the ones that cross over. Hope this is helpful in letting you be successful understanding the process of meiosis.